Hi there, I am Tony and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I will teach you step by step how to correctly make a skin for trains. Let's start. Choose the model. The first thing you will do is download or search for the model you want to reskin. In my case, I will use a duck model from Sutor Workshops. Warning, make sure that is allowed to reskin the model. On the Sutor Workshops there is a list showing which models are allowed. Cloning. The next thing will be open the content manager and look for the model that you chose in the search engine. Once you select the train and the bogey, we have to clone it. Some assets called new assets will be created, which you will find by putting the today filter. Configuration. Before performing the reskinning, you must edit the config file of the new assets. To open the config files you must right click on the assets, in open. Look for the option edit config file text. First change the model name, so you don't get confused. and then replace the old bogey with the cloned one. First you must find and copy the cut it of the original bogey, and paste it in the to replace inside the config file of the train. Then copy the new bogey cut it and paste it, and replace all. Make sure to save the config, and submit edits in the content manager. And that would be all in the settings. Reskinning. To start making the reskin, locate the textures. Right click on the assets and click open and show in explorer. The textures that you will have to edit will be some images called Albedo. You have to open them in an editing software. In my case I will use Photoshop, but you can use GIMP, Paint.net, etc. There is a free alternative version to Photoshop called Photopia, I'll leave the link in the description. To replace the color of the train, search the tool in Image, Adjustments and choose Replace Color. Select the base color and the color you want to switch to. Make the necessary adjustments. Repeat the process in the other parts of the train that have the same base color, and remember the values of the color that you picked, in my case the value is 120. Replace numbers and letters. In case the train contains numbers or letters, we can use the patch tool or simply select the base color and paint over the numbers letters. First with the text tool write the text you want. Position and adjust it over the original text to center it. Hide the layers. Then with the patch tool select the original text and move it. And finally, make the text layer appear. You can also change the color and add an outline effect. Dirt. Dirt is important as it gives the train more realism. To add dirt you will have to create a new layer and paint with a dark color the areas that you want to get dirty. You can also lower the opacity and change the blending mode. Then use the Gaussian Blur filter and turn up the effect until you like it. Mm -hmm. 
Another way to add dirt is to search for a dirty texture in Google Images, right click to copy, and paste it into Photoshop with Ctrl plus V as a new layer. Adjust it to the size of the texture. Then change the blending mode to multiply, and lower the opacity a bit. That's it. Once you finish editing the textures to your liking, you will have to save them in the same format as the original texture. To save the changes, go to the Content Manager and click on Submit Edits. To see if everything went well, click Preview Assets and a model viewer will open. And that easy, you can make your own skin. And well guys, that's all. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. Until next time.